This is a big old piece of western red cedar. Super, super old growth. Um, I started cleaning up. Me and my nephew cleaned up my shop yesterday. I started uh, skidding this because this is a piece of driftwood. And it just made all my chains so uh, dull so fast with all the sand that's stuck in these cracks and stuff here. So I don't know how uh, stable this piece is going to be to carve. It's about, um, I think I got about top six inches here. It's not that thick. It's just like a piece that's been ripped off the tree. Um, it's pretty dry. But all these cracks here, I don't know. I've already cut this out. When I cut this piece out, the pieces fell apart. Because the crack, this crack here, crack here, they just continued up. So I think this might be stable enough to do an owl up here. But um, lately I've been in, we all go through it, it's like an artist block where I th all I think I can do is carve wood spirits. I can't carve anything else, you know. I should honestly be starting to carve bears because bears are, I'm not saying they're simple to carve, but they give you the basic shapes of blocking things out 360. So I don't want to carve bear. I don't want to be like the other, all the other chainsaw carvers. But don't just because I don't want to carve bears, don't think that you shouldn't carve bears because, like I said, it's a, it's a really good thing to do to get into 360 blocking. So I got a big knot here, but this wood's so brown, I think this knot's going to be, you're not going to be able to see it. After I put, uh, I'll carve this today and maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'm going to carve a big wood spirit on it. Maybe uh, try and fit in a dragonfly or something down here. I'm just basically going to be having fun. Because this, it's a piece of free wood. That I'm not too sure how stable this cedar is, like I've already said. Okay? So you just don't know. So that's the thickness I got. You can see here how the back of it is. It's all brutal. You know, I'll spray paint that black when I'm done. Blow it out. But um, you can see like cracks like this. It's like shaley and sand gets under there. And sand is all inside these cracks. So I'm going to be sharpening my chains lots today. That's for sure. And I'm going to be running my... Uh, I'll start off with my uh, 192. Arborist saw with a steel carving bar on there. And it's got the RM3 chain on it. The steel chain to RM3. So that's what I'll do. I guess I'm just going to carve and I'll stop at key points. I don't know. I don't need to make a wood spirit tutorial video. I don't even know if this one's going to work out. But I'll try and make it so this knot. So his nose is right here. And this knot's in the top part of his mustache so it blends in after I put spar earth in on it another day once it warms up a bit more so I might as well show you guys be drawing this uh, wood spirit on so uh, no so sorry I gotta go in front of the camera I can see all sand right in here it's just a real pain it's a nightmare so there's his eyes actually we want to make this big because I got a big wood spirit on site carving to do. And uh, I should practice a bigger one. So I'm going to draw this on off camera and uh, just start carving. Okay, you can see I got the nose drawn on here. Um, so this is bigger scale. I'm not, I've done some bigger scale wood spirits. But because I don't have much depth in this piece, I don't want to cut through it. If I do, I'll just make it into a negative space piece. But... You know, I'm not going to really concern too much about getting the nose to stick farthest off the face. It's going to be more of a flat kind of face. And I'll just kind of be practicing today. I don't know. Just, uh, I'll just basically, like I said, stop at key points. Okay, so this piece has been a real, um, just so much sand in here, it's just been brutal. So, um, see how big this nose is? Look, it covers the side, almost the whole thing of his bottom of his face. It's okay. 
It's easy to start with a wider nose and take it down thinner if you want to, right? Then start with a thinner nose. Another thing I look at too when I'm doing the face, and it's, it's this is just me like um, learning to get better. I look at this point right here, and I look at this point. These two points. See how I push the mustache back, so the cheekbones are higher. But now I sit here and look. Well, this one, this side is too low, so we need to cut some of that off and then take these hairs out again. I'm just spaz cutting these hairs in spazzy because chips are flying out like crazy. That's a chunk that flew out, kept on flying out here. Like, watch this, you know. So I'm just cutting deeper till it doesn't do it anymore. So um, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to do an owl up here. I don't know if the wood's stable enough, but like you can see this big crack here. Crack right there. It's all cracked back here. So I look at this part for the head, and there's cracks right here. So the head would be here, and then the tail would come down here. I don't know. See it all there? All the cracks in there? That's why I cut this piece out, but it's more stable. Looking at it up here, this piece is about seven feet tall, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up now. Um, and I'm just going to finish cutting in these hairs. I might just get a better pan, cut this back a bit, make it look like, I don't know, sitting on his hair or something if I do do an owl. Maybe I could even carve like a little gnome home up there. I could even carve a gnome up there if I wanted to. I just want to stop for a quick second here and talk about these uh, chainsaws and the bars and chains and sprockets. I'm going to try and do this one handed. But you see how this rolls nice and smooth? Okay, there's no, there's not really any clicking. You see that? Now this one, it doesn't, you hear that clicking? And look at the chain tightens up like that, see that? When the chain should be loose like that, watch. Look at that chain. That means you need a new sprocket. I learned that from uh, Steve Kanzora, the great Steve Kanzora, the uh, Samurai Chainsaw Jedi. How you doing, Steve? I've been giving you a shout out in a long time if you watch this video. So here's what I got so far. I got the Dragonfly Punch 10 just blocked out. On the fa this has been a terrible piece of cedar to carve. Like pieces just fling on like this. What oh watch this right here. Here's a perfect example. Bingo! Ha ha ha! right off! Fixed it! Fixed it! That's what you mean by uh carve deeper, right? Just if something doesn't work out, just carve deeper and fix the problem. So lots of you guys, lots of people ask about this die grinder. This is let's see here. This is the uh, sorry. The GD088, sorry, GD0800C. This is a super quick one. It's not cheap. You don't need this expensive die grinder. But let me tell you, this sucker rips and it's a game changer. I think it's like maybe $500, but it's it's worth the money. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, any, I'm not a pro carver, but any pro chainsaw carver will tell you that. I'm just... I'm just a hack heavy hands. I like to break shit. This nose, this crack here, about this much of it, this side, right on this crack, ting, fell off. So I curved it in uh, deeper, pushed it back. There you go, just curve her up. Look at that bump on that nose. I gave him the open mouth. He's a big happy guy. You know, that dragonfly, I think it's good. It works. It says what it is. Needs some touching up. It's okay. It's just blocked out. Now I gotta deal with this bullshit. I'm not even going to film nothing with this, you know, because I think it's going to fall apart and I just don't care and I'll be, I'm not going to film because I'll be swearing and all the bullshit and let's just see if we can uh, at least make a, like, um, 
a whimsical, a fantasy owl in there with this hair kind of wrapping up around it or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's do this. Abra. Cadabra. One more thing. Let's just pretend this is a, like a, a video that I made the other day. This is a still 170, like a $200 throwaway saw. And a still carving bar on here, okay? So let's just pretend that this is a 170 with a still carving bar. And I can completely block out this owl. I know it's glitchy, sorry. With that uh, still 170 in the carving bar, okay? So I, I don't even know if I can hook up my camera to do a time lapse because I'm going to be on the step ladder here. And well, I'll try. Okay, so there's a quick block out. All right, I think it looks not bad. It gets so smoky up there, I gotta open this tent. <laughs> okay, so I burnt it, I did it. Not too bad, just a couple little cracks on it, not bad at all. Um, so, I'll fix up the eyes later. But I did the detailing that I sanded, burnt it, sanded it. Now, uh oh. Uh oh, that's what he's saying. Uh oh. Shit. Okay. So that's it for me today. This, this the deeper I went inside, the deeper I went inside here, the wetter the wood was. So I had a super hard time with these eyes. This one's a little bit, um, I gotta fix this one up next time. I'm gonna let it sit for a bit, right? Um, let it dry out and then it will be easier to carve um, so also You know, I said I wasn't gonna carve too deep like I wasn't too worried about the nose to pop off the farthest from the face well it is but I'm I'm not happy with this carving right now because Well, I am and I'm not because this side of the face I want it to slope more that way not it's just it's just I'm not very good at carving flat faces and I don't know if it what do you guys think maybe I'll let you guys say what do you guys think I guess it's all right it's just like this I don't think this should be, I think this should be pushed back more. You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. Maybe it's just my mental thinking or something, but I don't know, maybe I punched in the eye too far or something. But that's it, I gotta go watch my uh, my uh, nephew Corey's baseball game. So I'll do another video, maybe I'll, you guys wanna give me suggestions for this dragonfly? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this dry out for a good couple days because I'd like to put some nice, like, um, lines in there like um you know like you go like this like this and some nice lines and the wings and stuff and the i don't know anyways that's it i don't think i can get a full shot of this yeah let's see here there you go what do you guys think you think i should fix up the face once the wood dries off it's just i think this should be again slope back more but anyways that's just me Talk to you later. What do you think I should do with the dragonfly? You think I should paint it? I think so. Why not? You can have, not too bright, but do my carving fusion paint and burn it and antique it. But I gotta go because I promised Corey for the baseball. See you later. Bye. And uh oh, we got carpenter ants here. Yeah, can you see that? I better do something with this pretty quick. It's cedar, they're not supposed to. Uh, I'm gonna drop this next couple days and figure out what to do with this big cedar. There's Corey right there, first base. Why is it not zooming in? There he is, number nine. I used to play baseball here, pitcher, and I was first base. Yep. Little bum picker. I was a wild pitcher. 
It seemed like when I was this age that the balls were going so much faster. Okay, so here I am back the next day. Uh, I looked at this piece overnight and I was just seeing a whole bunch of stuff I didn't like. You know, this is such a terrible piece of wood. I should just leave it, okay, and practice on something else. But like, you know, I can clean up in here. Because you only have a certain amount of depth in something like this, right? So let's see here. So it looks wider here, but then it goes way in here, right? So it's not as wide right in there. So this, look at the size of this nose. This nose is so huge because I made the face too, too skinny. This face should be wider and it should be taller. So what I'm going to do now, and this is, this is you guys use your own discretion if you want to leave the carving where it is or if you want to try and fix it. I should really leave it where it is because I don't have much depth and like I said the wood like I showed you guys the wood breaks but I'm gonna take all this wood that breaks off and I'm gonna clean it up and I don't care it's gonna take me a long time and I could I could finish this dragonfly fix the owl a little bit the eyes just be done with it but I I want to see if I can make it better for me and for you so I need to cut this nose smaller so that's easy to do. You just cut this out, right? Then you extend the mustache up. Yeah, your lips, your mustache here between the mouth is going to be bigger, right? But it's okay. You can cut it deeper in here too, right? You can always make the mouth bigger. I can even give this guy some teeth. Maybe I'll do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this nose off first. Right here. But I got to see, I already cut the nostrils in. So I got to see how it's going to work. And this crack. There's a crack right here. So that crack's going to thin out. When I take all this off, that it's this side of the crack is going to get thinner. So we don't want that to break off. If it does, I got epoxy here. I can fix it. But let's uh, just let me get curving. I'll show you guys kind of step by step, I guess. Let's just hope it works. I could leave it, but I don't want to. Well, that's great. Now it looks even worse. So what I need to do... Is I need to cut all this out. I need to cut it all out, make this nose a little bit longer, bring the eyes up higher, and just try and fix it. If it doesn't fix, I really don't care. Okay, so now look how big his mouth is. That's okay. I could always hold this out down here, make it a succulent plant holder. That's a big seller to do that. Um, now you see how much more proportionate this is. Not such a huge nose that comes out to here and here. This like I said in throughout this video, it's not a very good piece of cedar right now. This is soaking wet right in here. So why can't I give it my whole carving fusion hollow of eyes? I, I don't care. It doesn't have to have real eyes, you know, so you just got to carry on. I like it a lot better now. Yep. Okay. So you like it now or before? I like it both ways. I like it. I like it better now. You know, the whole I, I, this whole piece. I'm not blaming the wood on the not a very good wood spirit, but I'm blaming the wood. I've struggled this whole time. I want my intentions were when I had this piece of wood to make nice big uh, beard hair lines and kind of like that piece there, but more smooth and cut up and stuff. So, you know, when you, this open mouth looks kind of silly, it's huge. Just make it a plant holder. Get yourself a spade bit, drill your drain hole in there. Put some grass in there and put it up for sale. Ladies will love it. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I got to fix this owl now. And I'm just going to finish this dragonfly quick. I just want to get this piece over with and done. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to do the dragonfly. What I'm going to do is quickly, uh... Clean it up with my die grinder, angle grinder. Sorry, angle grinder with this uh, 36 sander flapper. I'm gonna sand it up quick. It's gonna be something quick. And then I got this um, uh, on my die grinder. I got a, a quarter inch diamond burr on here. And I'm gonna try and burn some uh, lines in these uh, wings. So, you know, that, like gives it little veins or something. Uh, I might just leave this normal. I just I just really don't care and I'm kind of done with this piece but we want to make this dragonfly pop out right so I might burn deep around here like like I did these mustache hairs or beard hairs 
and make the dragonfly brighter. All right, you guys like my polka dot dragonfly with uh, things in his wings? That diamond bur bur uh, burnt pretty good. So I might paint this another day. It's just, this wood's just too wet. So that's it, it's done. So you gotta ask yourself, let's see here. You gotta ask yourself, Jordy, what did I learn on this piece? Well, I learned on this piece, when you carve a big, huge piece of wood like this, well, it's not that huge, but inspect it before you decide you wanna carve it. Cause when you're getting into something like this, I'm pro this is probably like six hours no more than that probably like seven hours so you know getting a bigger scale carvings like this i'd really inspect the wood and decide if you want to use it or not because it though it was terrible the whole i fought it the whole way but i finished it i learned a lot i learned um until until i get my face carved in don't carve them a big huge don't open up that bottom lip this face could have been a lot better if this thing bottom lip wasn't open, but it's still cool. It's a planter hold, like a succulent holder now, right? And when you're doing a bigger scale carving, remember that the face, see how much smaller this nose is? The face isn't much smaller, like the cheeks aren't much smaller, the forehead's not smaller, just the nose is smaller. The nose used to come out to here and then here. So the cheeks should have been out here. So just remember scale too. You guys can look online and uh, see human face scales. Let's see if that nose sticks off farthest. Yeah, that's good enough. So that's it, everybody. I'm going to give this a couple days to uh, dry. And I'm going to put, here, let's do a water test. And I'm going to put some spar urethane on it. And it will darken this sucker right up. The uh, spar urethane makes your, it's outdoor stuff, I call it. And uh, the Hellsman, it makes your piece go so dark. That's okay. Oh, look at the red in that color. There is some first growth western red cedar color right there. Yep, that's it everybody. Hope you're good. Thanks for watching me uh, go through hell with this. But it's finished. Now I'm going to carve something fun. Maybe like a gnome or something. Okay, so I almost got the whole thing sprayed down with water besides the bottom. But there you can see. Anyways, see you later. You guys like my friends? Okay. I got a super question to ask you guys. And I don't know if you're going to like it or not. I've been working my butt off. Let's take a look at this piece. It is what it is. Don't care. <laughs> Just don't care. Hey Larry Dibs, you're messaging me. Don't care. <laughs> okay, super big question. I don't know if you guys... Sorry, the camera died. Super big question. I don't know if you guys are gonna like the question. I don't know if you're gonna be able to answer the question. I don't think you're gonna be, I'm gonna bet Probably $500, you're not going to be able to answer this question. Well, you're going to answer it, but you're not going to be able to say yes. You're going to have to say, no, I haven't. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for the question? And remember, you're not, I think only people in Norway, if there's anybody out there in Norway that watched us, are going to be able to say, yes, they've seen it. But most of you, 99.9.9% of you are going to say, no, you've not seen it ever. Now let me ask you the question. Have you ever seen a shoulderless one-arm wizard? That's the question. Have you ever seen a shoulderless one-arm wizard? Huh? Have you? I don't think so. Well, you can say, now you have, because there it is. <laughs> a shoulderless one arm wizard. It's abstract, that's what it is. Look, I haven't even done the eyes yet because, well, I don't want to wreck it. 
I gotta put something up here. I was thinking about putting FRO up here, but um, maybe you guys can give me a suggestion. Maybe I should carve a wood spirit or something. I don't know. Bye.